headers glide into position for the opening draw. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Handles it along the blue line. Just wide. Let's it go. Oh, just wide. He didn't miss that by much. He got lots on it. Taken by Brody. Now he takes it over the line. Calgary's on the attack. Here's a chance. Gets in front of it. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it to Dreisaitl. The Oilers take it along the wall. Takes the feed. Stones him in front. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it! A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Edmonton's first goal has completely silenced this home crowd. Everybody's expecting a quick start from the home team when it doesn't happen. Everyone, fans and players, are back on their heels a bit. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. And now it's grabbed by Backlund. He carries the puck up along the wing. Looks to set up a now. And he slides it quickly to Brody. Takes a shot. He scores! They turn it up! Looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck grabbed by Hannafin. Sends the pass over. Hamannick's got it along the boards. That's gloved by Koskinen. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Toughest time of the year to score. Leading the league in playoff goals. He's been dangerous since the puck hit the ice. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Here's a shot with the stop. Puck scooped up by Bennett. Slides it quickly to Lucic. Nugent Hopkins will play it from the side. Shoots it, stopped by the goaltender. He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Edmonton's got a one-goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Moves it quickly over to Clefbaum. Takes the pass. That goes wide. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Shot denied by the goaltender. Quick pass to Cave. Nice pass. Edmonton's on the attack. Easily turned aside by Riddick.
Calgary's won the draw. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Icing his calls, stopping the play dead. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Oilers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Slides the puck over. The Flames take it across the blue line. Monaghan's got it behind the net. Takes a shot and makes the save. Here they are on the attack. Here's a backhand. Gives them nothing in front. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. Oh, he'll want to have that one back. Wayne Gretzky says 100% of the shots you don't take don't go in. Same for the ones that miss the net. Takes the feed at the point. Centering pass. Here's a chance. Huge stick save by the goaltender. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. And he gains the zone here. Let's it go. And a great save. Brody's got the puck in his own zone. Monaghan's got it into offensive territory. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Tries to feed it over to Haas. Hangs onto the puck. Denies him in front. Here in the dying moments of this period, we've got a 2-1 game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now he moves it to Nurse. From the point, big time stop there. He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. It's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Nugent Hopkins plays the puck. Shuts him down. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Edmonton's got the lead here late in this first period. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick feed to Kachuk. Calgary's in now. And there's the save. Edmonton's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Offense's own face off and he wins the draw. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Carries it across the line. Into the corner. Last minute of play. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Riddick's gonna smother it to get a whistle can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Backlund's won it in their own end. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Kara's got the puck. Puts it to the front of the net. Calgary's grabbed a hold of the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Well, that'll do it for period number one and a chance for both teams to kind of get a refresh here. They'll head to the rooms, and here's hoping there's more offense in store because that was a most entertaining opening frame. We got a 3-1 game. Fans, don't forget to get the seats you want for the games you want by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packets today.
Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Calgary's puck possession was pretty poor in that first period. They turned it over way too often. Pretty lucky the score's close. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Cassian. Rips it, makes the save, and putting out the fire in front. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Edmonton's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. McDavid's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Goudreau's got it on the offensive end. Puts it towards the net. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Calgary's back to set a rice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck. And that one's stopped. Puck picked up by Nurse. Bears got it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Edmonton's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Just wide of the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Puts the puck on net, and that one's turned away. If you're going to leave a rebound, it might as well be 30 feet away from the net. That's a really good stop because the puck's out of danger. Here's a howitzer at the net. Oh! Takes it across the blue line. Moves it around along the half wall. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Comes up with the stop. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Taken by Giordano. Mangiapane's got it along the wing. Centering pass! Gets a stick on it! Sharp reaction save. Slides it diagonally to Cave. They've got numbers! Caves got it in the offensive zone. Blistering shot! And the shot dies in the traffic jam. More than half the period left to play. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Ryan's won the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Ryan. Sends a pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Fires one. Makes the save. Another stop by the goaltender. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Russell's going to play it against the half wall. Slides and they score. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Edmonton 
Legends put themselves in the driver's seat on the back nine of this game here, Ray. They're, they've been impressive so far tonight. They have been, and nothing should change from their perspective. They have to be ready. I'm sure their opponents are going to put together a pretty strong push. Hennepin's got it against the boards. Sends the cross-ice pass. Back to the blue line. And now it's grabbed by Hamannick. And he comes up with it. the midway mark of the frame. Edmonton's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puck grab by Clefbaum. Clefbaum's lugging the puck. Receives the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Wrists one. Stopped by the goaltender. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play or covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. McDavid's won the draw. Taken along the wall by Nurse. Puck scooped up by Lindholm. Moves it to Goudreau. Here's a shot! Misses a golden opportunity there. This is one of those nights. It's not going your way, but the puck keeps coming back to you in a scoring position. That won't go as that goes off the side of the net. Gets that puck back on a stick. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game has been outstanding. Now they've got it again, and they can hold it down underneath the blue line. Hannafin swooping in on the attack. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Here's a chance right in the slot, and he rings the post. Koskinen's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. We get a look at that last chance. This is a good play, a terrific shot, but he hits the goal post and gets nothing for it. Here in the late going to the frame, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Puck picked up by Granlin. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Gets the puck in deep. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Manages to hang on. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop! Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Sent into the offensive zone. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Over the line they come. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. And he makes the save. sounds to end the second period 4-2 is where we sit after 40 minutes of play limited edition team bricks are available tonight at your team store get yours before they're all gone the third period is just around the corner Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Edmonton's got a lead in this game, which is probably a last shot win sort of thing. Man, it's been out of control for two periods. I love it. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. 
takes the feed. Grabs it and rips it. Answers him with an even better save. Taken by Nurse. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Ahead of steam now towards the front. He scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. Edmonton's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. And that one fired right into the bench. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Edmonton's got a three-goal lead. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Here's an odd man rush. Into the corner now. Wrist went in front. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Bennett's got the puck. Trying to dump it out. Now we'll get a stoppage on the ice here. And the puck sails down to the far end of the ice. So go back to the defensive zone and try it again. Nugent Hopkins wins possession in the defensive zone. Carries the puck up through center. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it across. Here's a shot. He scores. That's three rings. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. have been whipping their opponents all night long and it continues here in the third. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. Heads to the back of the net. Shot! Big time save with the blocker! Edmonton's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Picked up along the boards by Brody. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Tees it up from the blue line. Turns it away on the slap shot. Edmonton's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Through center along the wing. Sends the pass over. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck behind the net. Now a quick pass to Clefbaum. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. With possession along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Lucic has got it across the line. Here he is from the slot. Oh, Ray, I'm sure he's going to be shaking his head over that one. Yeah, you just don't get many of them. And when you do get a chance, you want to put it on target. Slides it across. Oh, a clutch save. Riddick sharp to make that stop. 
on the attack along the boards. Here's a shot, and that goes wide. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Moves it around along the half wall. Just misses. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Lindholm. Here they are on the attack. With some momentum driving towards the net. Simple stop by Koskinen. Edmonton's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Clef bomb stick handling in his own zone. Let's it go with the stop. Calgary's got the puck. Carries it in. They've got numbers. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And now he angles it across to Anderson. The Flames have it against the wall. Here's a shot. Lays out to get in front of that one. Shot denies him on the play. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. Regains possession at center. Here's a chance. Denied by the blocker. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Let's it fly. Just wide. The Flames generate shot after shot. They cannot find a way to finish off these chances. This is why the game is so hard to predict, right? You get the opportunities. Doesn't mean you always finish. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. And he puts that one aside with ease. Scooped up along the wall by Backlund. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. Neal's carrying it ahead. All alone! Great defensive effort. Wow, did he open up the Jets there to catch the player on the breakaway. Turn aside the chance. Now over to Froelich. Breakaway! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to get it over to Jankowski. Puts it in deep. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Russell's got it along the wing. Shot on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Here they come on the attack. Takes the feet at the back end. Can't get it to go. That's all she wrote from this one. Ray, game seven, buddy. Game sevens are the best. I mean, the, the do or die nature to it. Everything that you play for all year comes down to 60 minutes. I love it. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.